guys, what is going on? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back with another game review. That is right, I play a shit ton of games. All the AAA games, all the indie games, and I picked this game up the other day, finally got around to playing it, I streamed it yesterday on Twitch, gave away two copies of the game as well, so... Intent, you want to follow me on Twitch when I stream these games, I happen to give away copies for them. But this game I'm playing right now is Skyforce Anniversary. It just came out on Xbox One. It's the 10 year anniversary of the same game, but on mobile platforms. And I have to say, guys, this was a surprise to me. Um, I do play a lot of games. Some of them are very bad, some of them are okay. Some of them are great, and some of them are amazing. Uh, I wasn't expecting much from this game, to be honest with you. I don't. I kind of sometimes go in low expectations with a lot of indie games I play, but this one exceeded my expectations. It is a utterly fantastic top-down uh, shoot 'em up. Uh, there are quite a few of these on the Xbox One, but in my opinion, this may be the best one that I've played. It. It, it is very addictive. I started it last night, streamed it for two hours, and after I got done streaming, I just kept on playing it. Um, so there are nine levels in the game. Each level has three diff or three or four difficulties. I'm not sure, because I've only unlocked normal and insane, but I think there's also nightmare difficulty. Um, and each level, they, they you, you complete the objectives of... Uh, that the, the game sets forth, and then you unlock the levels, the later levels in the game. Like, you, not all nine levels are locked, or not not all nine levels are available right away. Like, to lock level eight, you gotta beat the level before, but you also gotta unlock 30 of the objectives. So each each level has a set of objectives. They're usually always the same. It'll be destroy 70% of the units, destroy 100% of the units, pick up all the stars, save all the humans, uh, and that that's pretty much what you do. So you pretty much destroy everything, collect the stars, you unlock all the levels. Now the stars are your currency in the game. So you collect the stars and then you upgrade your ship because uh, I'm pretty pretty far along with the upgrades. As you can see, I got missiles, I have wing cannons, I got my, my magnets so it sucks the stars in. When you start the game off, you basically have nothing. And you just keep on replaying the levels, you keep on earning stars, you keep on upgrading your ship in kind of like an RPG kind of way where uh, you choose how you want to upgrade it. You have special weapons like the laser and the shield that you can unlock to help you uh, use it. So this game, this game to get better, it's all about a grind. But the thing is, it's a very addictive grind. It is such a good game that I find myself just constantly replaying some of the levels just to get you know, a lot better. Uh, you know, my, get my main cannon to fire faster and do more damage and and things like that and uh you know once you once you beat a level on normal and you get all four objectives you unlock the hard version which gives you double the stars right and then once you beat that level unlock all four objectives on that you unlock the insane variety of that level which gives you three times the stars so you can see how it would play out where you play the level you beat it try to get you know you upgrade your ship and then you go back to previous levels to try to get all the objectives and then beat it on the harder difficulty saving all the enemies but this is just a fantastic game it looks extremely good and but most importantly it plays extremely good that's the most important part it is at a good price too it is ten dollars you will get a lot of time a lot of enjoyment out of this game especially if you like shumps i highly recommend if you're a fan of shumps to pick this up and if not I tried out ten dollars is a pretty good price for this, uh, especially in comparison to the um, other games I played, like Abzu, which I reviewed yesterday. It's a twenty dollar game, and it's only going to give you a couple hours of playtime. But this game will give you at least ten hours if you want to try to get all the achievements. Uh, it is quite a long game to be able to upgrade everything and get all the objectives on all the difficulties sorted out. So it has that going for it, of course. And at the end of every level. There is the pre res quit boss fight that these games always do. These shoot 'em ups always have boss fights at the end, so um, there's that to look forward to. So, highly recommend this game. I'd give it uh, probably a seven and a half, maybe an eight. I'm not really sure. I, all I know is that I just greatly enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's well worth the ten dollars. I, I implore everybody to check it out if you got the time. But, uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hit the like button if you like it. Sub for more content. The daily content is coming soon next week when I'm out of school. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you later.